Mtazamaji mwanaharakati kwenye mtandao ya kijamii huko Kisumu analilia haki baada ya mkono wake kukatwa na watu wanaodai walikasirishwa na baadhi ya jumbe zake mitandaoni. Kennedy Ogendo mwenye umri wa miaka 36 na ambaye ni baba wa watoto wawili anadai mahasimu wake walimuhada kukutana nao katika kliniki ya kibinafsi anakofanya kazi wakidai walitaka huduma za matibabu ambapo walimshambulia kwa panga. Kennedy Ogendo aliingia kwenye afisi za shirika la utangazaji humu nchini KBC huko Kisumu akionekana mwenye uoga mwingi. Ana wasiwasi kwamba huenda anafuatwa au mahasimu wake watamshambulia tena lakini cha mno anahofia kwamba hatatendewa haki. Miezi mitano iliyopita Ogendo alikuwa kishi maisha ya kawaida lakini sasa amejawa na uchungu kiwewe na uoga. Ogendo alichapisha taarifa kwenye mtandao ya kijamii akidai kulikuwa na ufisadi katika utoaji zabuni kwenye afisi za hazina ya ustawi eneo bunge lake na huo ukawa ndio mwanzo wa masaibu yake anasema kwamba mnamo tarehe 29 mwezi Aprili mwaka huu alieleza kufadhaishwa na utoaji zabuni wa ujenzi wa darasa kwenye shule ya msingi kwa fundi mmoja wa nguo baadaye mnamo tarehe 7 mwezi Mei alichapisha habari kuhusu madai ya wizi wa chakula cha msaada katika eneo hilo na katu hata sawa yaliyofuata it was on uh, 8th of may 2020 when uh, a known person came to my house in chemel roundabout at around 8:30 pm claiming to be having a patient in our clinic at chemel roundabout so i decided to follow him for assistant at Jerusalem clinic in Chemel roundabout of which when I was accompanying him to the clinic another group of people came out of a vehicle of registration number KBW 182W Toyota Felder in Chemel roundabout so I became suspicious with the group that was following me Reaching the clinic door, I asked this person who accompanied, who, who called me from my house, where the patient he was talking about was. I got no answer from him. Instead, he gave me a cut on my left side of the neck. The other people, who, the other person who was from the car, came very fast and tried to cut the other side of my neck which I tried to block with my the right side of my hand and my right hand was chopped off. Anamtaka mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma kuharakisha kukamatwa na kushtakiwa kwa aliyomtendea uovu huo na kumwacha bila mkono. Upon following up of the matter with the police in Chemel in police post the owner of this car is still at large. The guy who called me from my house is still at large. I, I recorded a statement with the CID, the DCIO in Chamberlain. They have the, the contacts of the person, the name. Nothing has been done. Only one person was arrested, taken to court, and later released on cash bail. Mwanaharakati wa haki za binadamu Bonfa Sakacha anataadharisha kuhusu ongezeko la mashambulizi dhidi ya watu wanaotetea haki za binadamu that the charge sheet uh, we can see that the case that was uh, being preferred is assault but from the evidence that has been uh, shown for me uh, I think this is an attempted murder for somebody to hold a knife and start cutting your neck for somebody to uh, aim a panga at you to an extent that it as you try to block it it chops off your hand it means that that was a clear hit that was meant to murder we want Kennedy Ogendo to get his justice. We want everybody who was involved in this heinous crime to be arrested and action taken. Afisa mkuu wa polisi katika county ya Kisumu, Ransom Lormodoni, alithibitisha tukio hilo akisema tayari mshukiwa mmoja ametiwa mbaroni na akawahimiza wananchi kutoa habari zaidi ambazo zitafanikisha kukamatwa kwa washukiwa wengine. Achola Simon, nikiripoteda Rubini ya Channel 1 Weekend kutoka kaunti ya Kisumu